my lovely students. The theme of our today's lesson is very interesting. It's about animals, their natural habitat and safari parks. I know that you, all of you love animals. Where can you see the animals? We can see there in the forest. In the forest. In the, in the, in the at zoo. zoo. At the zoo. What is? Where is? In the nature. In the nature. Yes. Then. In the sea. In the ocean. In the ocean. In the oceans. Then, Ali. In the uh, for what? Lake. 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 In the lake. In the lake. river. In the rivers. Yes. That's correct. Have you ever heard about safari parks? Yes, yes, of course. I watch film about them. No, thank you. I'm sorry. Then what's the difference between zoos and safari parks? The difference between Ali. In zoo, in zoo animals live in cages, but uh, safari zoo safari animals, parks? Live, animals live in free, free nature. Free nature. In their natural they don't live in the cages. cages. There is no cages. You can't see cages there in safari parks. And then it's very interesting to make a tour to safari parks. Let's do it. Safari wildlife. The name safari comes from the Swahili word for journey. Safari is an expedition to see animals in their natural habitat. Safari travel in Africa typically includes watching and photographing African animals and the scenery. This usually happens in animal reserves and national parks in East and South Africa. Safari is part for admiring the African wildlife, the landscape, and the birds in the thousands of animal species live in Africa. The wild animals of Africa are some of the most incredible creatures in the world. Primates, big cats, birds, reptiles, ungulates, and all kinds of mammals live in Africa in a beautiful harmony. Here you will find the largest, the fastest, and the most dangerous animals. Some of these animals live on the open plains of Africa, some on the grasslands, some in the rivers, or on the trees. Almost every visitor to Africa wants to see the big fire. They are some of the world's most dangerous animals. The lion, the elephant, the leopard, the African buffalo, and the rhinoceros. A close encounter with these animals could be the highlight of your visit to Africa. However, there are thousands of equally fascinating animals that you may observe during your journey, such as the zebra, the giraffe, the hippopotamus, the warthog, and the cheetah. Let's get to know some of the African animals closely. Hi guys, today I'm going to give you a tour of Logan Safari Park. It takes about one hour to get around in the park where you see most of the animals. Uh, but you can drive around as many as as many times as you want. There is a full safari as well where you can see some animals. Uh, we went there uh, at the end. Where do they live? They live in nature. 
the they live in the trees, in the grasslands, in the water, and so on, in different places. And uh, did you pay attention? How can you travel to the safari park? Can you walk there? We can, we walk can travel by car. We can't walk. Uh, in safari park, we only uh, visit there in special cars. Good, in special cars, that's all. But my lovely students, uh, before traveling safari, you must learn some safari rules. Let's get acquainted with some of them. What rules are they? What can you say about these rules, Arthur? Don't pick the animals. Okay, good, Marcina. Don't kiss the animals. Okay, then, Sabuhi. Do not throw a litter. Don't throw a litter. Uh, Rhea. Don't frighten the animal. Good, thank you. Don't frighten, don't harass them. Please. Do not pick the or damage flowers and uh, vegetation. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, my lovely students. Thank you very much. I love you.